When we first met Mike, he was playing in Black Nielsen. Um, they did their first couple of records here, and then from Black Nielsen split up about 10 years ago now. Mike started Co Pilgrim. first co-pilgrim album that wasn't really a band and uh, but this new one they've been playing as a band and you can tell the sound is much more developed and very atmospheric. There's nothing to see There's curtains for me The thing about Mike's songs is uh, they're often about quite sad subject matter, but he can write the most glorious, uplifting, happy sounding pop music from that subject matter sometimes. So. Studio just got back to working kind of like the old way we used to work in the old days, <laughs> and yeah, just made a went about making a, a pop album really. Mike, uh, yeah, some of the best songs he's ever written, I think. been a big element of sadness in Mike's songs um, but on this album it's really coupled with very optimistic sounding tunes which really uh, offset the, the sadness of the lyrics so that I think Let's Hear It For Misery sums it up because it's they're miserable but enthusiastic at the same time and, uh, and so as a result the songs are very touching. <laughs> Hey.